Hi, dear students. Welcome back to Computer Science class. We have already completed the first unit, Database Management System, and learned different topics like data, database, database management system, RDBMS, and different ways of working with OpenOffice Base, especially for database. And it's time to look at our next unit, Unit 4, Web Applications and Security. And in this topic, in this unit, we have 11 different topics to be covered like working with accessibility options, networking fundamentals, introduction to instant messaging, chatting with a contact, we using Google Talk, creating and publishing web pages, blog, using offline blog editors, online transactions, internet security, maintain workplace safety, prevent accidents and emergencies, finally protect health and safety at work. These are the different topics for discussion and when you look at Classly, you can understand one thing, except the first topic, working with accessibility options, all other topics are connected to network or internet or chatting or blog, whatever it is, all those kind of stuff. And just before moving on to uh, from 3rd to 11th, you must have a clear understanding of what actually network is because all the topics uh, from 3rd to 11, session 3 to 11 includes a thorough knowledge of which needs or requires a thorough knowledge of what network is okay so we are moving on to networking fundamentals first and working with accessibility options will be discussed later okay at the end of this session or the chapter we can just move on to our third our second uh, session networking fundamentals so what actually network is just think of what a network is uh, just before moving on to computer network um, you should connect it to the real world network, right? Okay, you can see various uh, different type of networks, uh, uh, network of students, network of teachers, network of uh, other professionals, network of players, whatever it is, okay? Uh, simply, what is a network? Just think of a network, a group of students, okay? We can call it as a network. There'll be what, uh, they are two connected to each other, there will be what, uh, transferring of something, um, all those kind of things, right? So what is a network network means network is a collection of something collection of entities right a group when we consider a network of students we can we can say what it's a group of students they may help each other right so there are so many things running uh, around or uh, between them okay so that that's what a network is so uh, before moving on to networking in detail uh, let's uh, divide, let's categorize the terminology networking into two. Based on networking, we can have two different types of uh, entities, okay? One is standalone entity, other one is networked entity. What is a standalone entity? Just think of uh, your class, okay? Uh, there may be 35 students in your classroom and uh, we can categorize, uh, we, we, there the we can see, uh, we can notice, uh, we can observe two different uh, type of students. Suppose uh, there is a student, okay? Suppose there is a student who is uh, not connected to any other student, who is standing alone, who is who has no uh, friends, who has no company at all, okay? Who is standing alone, who is doing things alone, uh, he is not uh, dealing with others, okay? That is what a standalone student is. Standalone. Who is not connected to any other student, who is not a member of any community, any student group, okay? That is what standalone student is. And networking student or network student what is a network student just like you you are a part of a network maybe part of uh, more than one network right okay one one group i mean group okay that's what a network is so uh, you may be a part of uh, more than one network or at least to a at least to a single network right so you may be in contact with other students you are uh, doing uh, uh, hand in hand with uh, other students doing many things okay you may be sharing things uh, that, that's what network system is so uh, in concept of networking, we have two types of systems, standalone system and network system, okay? Now we can, I uh, hope we can move on to uh, networking fundamentals, uh, the computer related topic, okay? Yes. So in this uh, topic, we are mainly focusing on computer network and we'll be looking at uh, different topics like uh, what a computer network is and different architecture. Uh, followed in uh, computer networking and different types of networking like LAN and WAN. Then we look at uh, terminologies like WWW or web uh, internet. Uh, then, uh, of course, uh, how to transfer that uh, different ways of sending that. Uh, okay, all this kind of stuff. So uh, we can we can look at the terminology networking first. Okay, how to define the terminology networking? Actually, what is a network? What is a computer network? 
uh, we uh, we all uh, have seen uh, different networks in our school right yes so let's look at the definition first uh, what is a computer network a computer network is a collection of computers and other hardware components interconnected by communication channels that's the second point that allow channels maybe you want cables or satellites okay that allow sharing of resources and information and here in this definition we have three parts right the first part is a computer network is a collection of computers and other hardware components right it's a collection of computers and other hardware components other hardware components in the sense there may be what uh, what printers scanners uh, routers whatever it is okay hub switch whatever it is okay yes uh, that's the first point and second point is these are interconnected by communication channels either via what guided media or by unguided media right or by uh, physical media or non physical and cables are example for physical media they are connected by cables or by satellites using uh, radio waves or other some kind of uh, infrared or some other kind of waves okay that that's the second point and the third one is that allow sharing of resources and information that allow sharing of resources and information let's look at uh, an example uh, in our school uh, we can see different networks okay well, uh, let's look at uh, one network uh, for discussion and uh, that's in every staff room we have uh, around uh, seven or eight staff rooms in our school and in all the staff room we have uh, computers right computer yes pc then uh, all this staff room do not have a printer actually we have a printer we have a high end printer installed uh, uh, in an uh, what in a printer room right in in printer room and there is only one printer in our school suppose there is only one printer in our school and uh, a teacher from your staff room uh, high school staff room can send a print it will be what uh, sent to the place where the printer is inst installed right okay that's a printer room and from other staff room they can send print because from all staff room or all staff room computers are connected to that single printer right that is what network is that is what network is um, what is the advantage because there is no need of installing a separate printer in each staff room what is the problem with installing a single printer in each staff room the cost may be high right so we can save it just by networking just by networking we can save a lot of money right yes so this is the main advantage of what networking for sharing resources and information another network another example is uh, our computer staff room you can see only one uh, one cpu okay and uh, 12 or 13 systems are connected uh, to a single cpu right that's an example for uh, networking another example is uh, extra marks right you extra marks uh, only one uh, what uh, server machine is installed in computer staff room uh, computer lab and uh, in uh, what in our 40 50s what classrooms you can see you can you can experience uh, what extra marks right extra marks content content yeah so that that's what networking is so in our school we can see different networks there are a lot of networks in our school so that's a basic definition of network computer network is a collection of computers and other hard, hardware components interconnected by communication channels okay they may be they, they're connected by what cables or satellites that allow sharing of resources and information sharing of uh, resources that is what printer is okay printer is a resource scanner is a resource router is a resource modem is a resource okay so just by what in, in networking we share these devices and information information sharing is what extra max content sharing is extra max content is installed in a single server machine and that is served from that single machine to all the classrooms and all the classrooms can be treated as clients okay yes so sharing of resources and information and in the session uh, we will look at the basic fundamental concepts of networking and internet using different type of network connections and uh, networks are designed using the following two architecture and the first one is peer to peer architecture p2p you know what p2p is peer to peer it is a kind of network in which all computers have equal status are called peer to peer networks okay generally in such a network each terminal has an equally competent cpu and here you can see the terminal is peer to peer p2p architecture and the, there are two points one is equal status okay machines are having equal status and are having equally competent cpu these are the two important uh, key points okay these are the two key points uh, to be uh, understood okay yes so peer, in peer to peer network uh, in peer to peer architecture of networking uh, all co all computers all computers in the network will have equal status plus they having equally competent cpu 
equally competent CPU means equally what a configured CPU ha having a uh, maybe somewhat same configuration of a RAM a hard disk a processor whatever it is okay yes that is what peer-to-peer -peer architecture is and the next one is client server architecture client server architecture is architecture followed in internet mainly in internet okay not only in the internet yeah so here in this client server architecture network in which certain computers have special dedicated tasks suppose a computer has a special dedicated tasks and the purpose is providing service to other computers in the network and are called client server network the computers which provide service are called servers and the ones that use the service are called clients okay client server architecture means there will be two uh, types of machines one is a server other is other others are clients okay one is a server machine which 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 is a high-end machine having high configuration of uh, all the hardware uh, uh, features okay then clients are uh, what normal machines and and that server machine is having a special dedicated tasks uh, special dedicated task means dedicated task mean, uh, means means uh, it, it's uh, designed for just uh, for single purpose okay designed to perform single task or a specially focused task yes and the purpose is to provide services to other computers okay services to other computers and the computer that provides service is called server machine it's simple and the uh, computers that use a service are called clients okay you can see the architecture in internet yes now we can move on to types of network there are mainly two types of networks available uh, in uh, for in our in our curriculum okay local area network and wide area network in addition to local area network and wide area network we have a, a number of networks available like uh, metropolitan area network man person area network pan okay yes there are different types of network available but for uh, our, uh, what uh, in our syllabus we have only two types uh, for discussion local area network and wide area network okay yeah the first one is local area network what's a local area network locally situated network right local area network is one in which one which connects computers and devices in a limited geographic area okay that's a, that's a key point limited geographic area yeah such as home school computer laboratory office building or closely positioned group of buildings yes so a local area network is a uh, network or a network yeah that connects computers in a computers and devices not only computers in a limited geographic area okay geographical area which offers high speed that's another point which offers very high speed and are used for connecting computers in peripherals such as printers scanners okay example of school a school is an example for local area network uh, at present you what home may access a local area network because uh, you may be using uh, internet uh, your brother sister your father mother all um, means all may be using okay uh, there may be a local area network set up in, a, in, in your home okay yes so that's what local area network is and uh, next we can move on to wide area network okay yeah what's a wide area network wide area it occupies wide area that's it a wide area network or a WAN is one which covers a broad area okay broad geographic area that's what broad area is uh, not like limited geographic area in the case of land uh, here in uh, wide area network it covers a broad area that is any network that links across metropolitan or cities regional or national boundaries the internet is the most popular van here is the point internet is the most popular van and is used for used by business government non-profit organizations individual consumers artists entertainers or, and many others okay so a wide area network is a what is a network is a kind of network that covers broad area uh, maybe um, it cross uh, metropolitan regional national boundaries okay it spans over uh, the entire continent okay that's what that's why internet is considered the most popular van the biggest the biggest van in the world is internet yes maybe used by what used by all kinds of institutions or yes now we have internet what is internet internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks that use a standard internet protocol CO to serve billions of users worldwide that's a key point the internet is a global system of interconnected computer networks or we can say what network of networks right network of networks yeah uh, yes here's the point okay uh, spans over uh, the entire world the, the okay and it's a network of networks that consists of millions of private and public academic business and government networks okay then internet is one of the most useful technologies in modern times which helps us in daily personal professional life 
and internet is widely used by students, educators, scientists, professionals to gather information for research general purpose. Businesses uh, use uh, the internet to access complex uh, database okay, for financial purpose. Yes. The internet is the largest encyclopedia for all age groups. The internet helps in maintaining contact with friends, relatives who live across uh, different locations or internet chatting system or email, whatever it is. Okay. And there are laws, a lot of stuff available like Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram. Okay. Yes, there's so many other platforms like uh, Teams, um, Word, uh, other kind of stuff. Okay. Yes. So, internet is becoming a major source of entertainment for the general public. Okay. So, that's what internet is. It's a global system of interconnected computer networks. That is standard protocols, of course. And we can consider it as a network of networks. Okay. It's a network of networks used by all what all walks of, using all walks of life. Yes. Then we have World Wide Web. What do you mean by World Wide Web? Or we can uh, simply um, what abbreviated this WWW or simply what W3. W3 means WWW or simply what web. That's it. Okay. It's a system of interlinked hypertext documents accessed via the internet. World Wide Web or simply web is a system of interlinked. Interlinked means uh, interconnected. Hypertext documents access via the internet, uh, net or a website or a web page. These are part of what World Wide Web, right? And you know uh, there will be different pages in a website, and all these pages are interconnected, right? Yes. With a web browser, one can view web pages that may contain text, images, video, and other multimedia documents, and navigate between them via hyperlinks. You know what hyperlink is? You have uh, you might have uh, learned uh, HTTP. ML, right? HTML hypertext markup language, and uh, there is a terminology hyperlink, right? Okay, that special link uh, which leads you, which takes you, which directs you to another page or uh, some other part of the same page, right? That's what hyperlink is, and the hypertext is that special text which may be in a blue color, okay? That takes you to uh, somewhere else, somewhere in the, somewhere in uh, some other part of the same page or some other page, okay? Yes. And information stored on web servers refer to as web pages. You know what web server is? Uh, web server is a machine uh, which stores all web documents or web pages, websites. Okay, yes. To as yes, web pages are retrieved by using web browser such as Firefox, uh, Mozilla Firefox, Safari, Opera, uh, what Explorer. Okay, we have a number of uh, what browsers available. And a web browser is simply a software. Okay. Web browser is simply a software used to view websites. It web, web browser helps us to uh, view the websites and access an interface between the user and the World Wide Web. Okay, a web browser is a software that uh, allows us to view the content in a website or in a web page and access an interface. Okay, between the user and the World Wide Web. A web browser is a computer that stores websites and their related files for viewing on the internet. Okay, yeah. So these are the topics uh, for the day. Okay, we have started with network. A network is simply a collection of computers and devices that are interconnected, uh, what just for sharing resources and information. Okay, then uh, two architecture, peer to peer and client to client. Peer peer to peer, uh, equally status, uh, equally status means uh, machines are having equal status and uh, equally competent CPU. But in client server architecture, uh, there will be a super machine uh, that's called server machine that uh, provides service, and clients are uh, normal machines that accepts or receive the service. Right? Okay. Then uh, two types of networks uh, like LAN and WAN. LAN means limited geographic area, school, office, uh, home. Okay. Then uh, WAN, uh, the internet is the biggest WAN and spans over a large geographic area. Okay. Yes. Yes. Then internet. Uh, then World Wide Web. Okay. Uh, so these are the topics for the day, and uh, hope you have understood what actually network is, and these are the fundamentals uh, of networking, and. Uh, so this is all for the time being. Uh, just uh, go through the session, go through the PDF. Okay, yeah, it will be very helpful for you. And um, uh, actually, the course is designed for uh, 10 standard information technology, and can, it can be used by anyone, anyone. Okay, uh, anyone. Yeah. So uh, just go to the video uh, completely. Okay. Yes. So um, we can meet next time. So this is all for the time being. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Take care.